Hey, I'm Skylar. Just like you and me, iPhone operates best within a certain temperature range, between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and around 98 degrees Fahrenheit. If we get hotter than 98 degrees, we're sick. If we're colder than freezing, we're hypothermic. So what happens to an iPhone when it gets cold is that you'll notice everything starts to get very, very slow and sluggish, and eventually the phone will actually shut down. If you operate the phone at above its maximum temperature, permanent damage to the battery can be done, uh, sort of like heat stroke, actually. So if your iPhone is overheating, there can be a few different causes. Let's say you're using a flashlight app. Um, let's just open one up real quick, like uh, this one. Whoops, my Korean keyboard is lighty, like this one. So let's say I've got a flashlight on. That's an LED. But it does require voltage, and so the battery of iPhone is running power into the LED, and that's generating a bit of heat. So if I left this on for a long time, it would overheat, and it would tell me that the flash had to be shut down in order to preserve the phone. Well, that makes sense. So the solution there is just to turn off the flashlight. One thing that you'll notice is that occasionally you're not doing anything with your iPhone. It's just in your pocket, and it's getting really warm. The primary reason for this is that iPhone is constantly searching for any sort of connectivity it can find, either Wi-Fi or 3G or 4G. Um, and if you're in a space between network towers where the iPhone is getting a weak signal from one and a strong signal from the other, and maybe you're moving closer to one and then closer to the other, and the iPhone is constantly switching between the two towers, that can cause the iPhone to not only expend a lot of energy and for the battery to drain, but it produces a lot of heat in the process. So if your iPhone is getting hot, one thing you can do is go to Settings and General and go to Cellular and say turn off LTE and cellular data. That'll help. You'll still receive text messages and phone calls, but you won't be expending quite so much energy on trying to connect to cell phone towers. If you're really not worried about receiving any sort of phone calls or messages, just turn on airplane mode and you'll find that the temperature of the phone drops pretty quickly. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.